All you need is a little bit of math and you can learn a whole lot about how you drink and how to do it better. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here and today's episode is math nerds and drinking or whatever you want to call it. Um, with a little bit of math, you can, you can figure out how to drink better, or at least be in control of your drinking and understand why you might not feel so good one day or another. So here's the deal. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can consume alcohol. You can consume beer, and, and just buying a six pack of any beer is, is not the same. Like, a, unless you drink Budweiser every single day, um, the alcohol content varies between all sorts of drinks. You got beer, just a six pack of beer doesn't necessarily mean that one six pack is going to feel the same as the next. If you drink a higher alcohol uh, beer, then six of, six of those is going to make you feel worse than six lower alcohol beers because there's more alcohol in your body to, to process. Same thing with wine. There's a 12% uh, alcohol wines, and then there's 16 or you know 16% wines. So the same bottle of two different wines, or I'm sorry, two bottles of wine, two different bottles of wine, you're going to have uh, different results because one will get you more buzz than the other. And then of course you have things like uh, vodka that uh, that all have about around the same proof, you know, you have a 80 proof, which is 40% alcohol. Um, and then you have seltzers. I drink these, uh, these uh, Smirnoff seltzers, you know, they're pretty good. I think it's focusing, I hope it's focusing. Yeah, I think, ah, I don't know. I can't tell anymore if this, this camera rig I have is, is following me or not. But anyway, the whole point is, the first thing you should do is establish a baseline of what is okay for you to consume on an ongoing basis, every night. You know, It's going to take some self-experimentation to do this. And I did that. So I figured out, you know, for, for a long while I could drink two bottles of red wine and that was my baseline. And that's how I could tell if a wine was good or bad because it didn't, with the wine situation, it didn't matter the alcohol. Sometimes I drank two bottles of a 15% wine or two bottles of a 13.5% wine and I would feel differently. And I realized over time that it was the sulfites and the, the long several years of drinking so much red wine that that it was whatever was in there. <laughs> that's my that's my opinion. It's not proven. I didn't do any studies. I, I really I, I, I can prove it to myself and I, that's why I don't drink red wine anymore. Um, but in the beginning I established a, a baseline and my baseline was two bottles of wine is the make or break whether uh, it's good or bad for me. Um, and I also said that I could drink one bottle of any wine and feel fine the next day. Well something's changed. I switched over these seltzers and I picked one brand that's the best. It's the Smirnoff uh, Spiked Sparkling Seltzer. And my baseline now has changed. I've you know, lost some weight and I, I drink less. So I've actually lowered my tolerance for alcohol, which is fine with me because it's less money, less hangover, less, less all that. But my baseline is six cans of Smirnoff Spiked Sparkling Seltzer over a period of time. It's not six cans in an hour because I'm probably not gonna be tired and I'll probably drink more. I water my drinks down 50-50 uh, with the Smirnoff. I, I water it down with a can of seltzer. So it's like 12 ounces of, of seltzer, 12 ounces of uh, you know, alcohol seltzer, and 12 ounces of non-alcohol seltzer. That's my baseline. It takes me, you know, it depends on the the night, but I usually stop at no more than six. It's very rare I have more than six. Sometimes I only need two or three and I just do my business. And It could sometimes take me an hour to drink a quart. This is one of these mason jars. I put ice in it, it melts, it compensates, and it, it gives me most often, you know, 20, a minimum of 24 if I suck it down and God knows, uh, sometimes I'm left with no ice, so I get an extra 12 ounces of uh, 
not 12 ounces, uh, 10 ounces. I would do the math, 20, 30, 32, 12 times, 24. So I get like an extra eight ounces of water. Ah, man, that's refreshing. Anyway, so I just established that the baseline for me was six drinks a night and of these 4.5% alcohol drinks. So you gotta do a little math now. Let's do some math together. So I figured out, and, and forget 12 ounces, we're gonna deal with milliliters here because, uh, you know, why not? It's, it's a little bit easier to deal with milliliters. They're uh, smaller numbers, really. And instead of saying 12 ounces or 11.6 ounces in decimals, I'll just say 355 milliliters of this can of seltzer at 4.5% alcohol equals about uh, 16 milliliters of 100 proof alcohol. I'm sorry, 200 proof, like 100% alcohol. 100% alcohol. So that's 16 milliliters of alcohol, pure alcohol per drink. Per drink, per serving. It takes me a long time. So, like I wanted to figure out what am I, what's my, what, how much vodka do I need to drink? A lot of times they sell these things. And in the beginning I said, oh, I'll just drink six of these little airline bottles, okay? These airline bottles are 50 milliliters. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds about right. I drank six of these one night and I felt a little bit worse than drinking six cans of seltzer. So the math, you have to do the math. So here's some math for you. So if this can has 16 milliliters of 100% alcohol, and by the way, if you go to a 5%, for instance, instead of having 16 milliliters of 100% alcohol per can, it has about a little under uh, 18. So that's like over a 10% more alcohol. But anyway, this is math nerd talk here. So basically what you have to do is like, how much vodka do I need to drink to equal the alcohol in here. That's the problem with alcohol. You just make a drink, you pour it by eye. Most of the time, people drink way too much vodka. And this is a very, 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 very bad thing about vodka. It's very easy to overdrink. Very easy to overdrink unless you have a control mechanism in place. So anyway, you gotta do the math. So 16 milliliters of 100% alcohol equals what? how many milliliters of 80 proof or 40% alcohol. So you do the math. 16 over one equals question mark over 0 0.4. And the math is simple. You just take 16 divided by 0.4 and that equals 40, okay? So now I know I, to equal the alcohol in this can of Smirnoff, I have to drink 40 milliliters of this 80 proof vodka. Now, how do you do that? How exactly, to, like most people don't know how to do this. Like, well, so they'll end up drinking way too much because drinking vodka is a lot of fun. So hang on a second. I'm gonna get my scale set up and we'll do some, some measuring. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get one of these bad boys. This is a, just a simple little kitchen scale. Buy them on Amazon for like under 10 bucks, okay? Now, these things are great. They're called auto tar or whatever. You just stick your, I have this glass here set up. It has ginger capsule in it, some ice cubes, and a squirt of lemon already in it. So what you do is you stick it on your scale, okay? And you turn it on. You turn your scale on and it tars out to zero. So there's zero, it thinks there's nothing on there. So what you do is you pour Make sure it's in milliliters. So you change the setting to milliliters. And you pour it until it says 40. And you gotta drizzle it in. Because if you go over, you're screwed. You can't go over with a can of uh, 42, shit. Okay, so I went over 42, which is, um, which is not good. I put 42, now I'm gonna put stick two cans of this. Uh, polar seltzer in. and don't worry about what it's, it measures up to at that point. We're done with this. Let me turn off my secondary camera. So that's the way you can, uh, I went over by uh, 5%, which is 
what happens almost every time. I rarely get it at 40 on the dot. Ah, it's so frustrating. Now there's a way you could do this. You can pre-measure out 240. That's six times 40 is 240 milliliters of booze and that'll be your inventory for the night. How you drink it, if you drink five stronger ones, that's that's uh, do that at your own peril. Um, so now here, here's my new my new drink. This has pretty much the same amount of alcohol as my, my Smirnoff uh, spiked sparkling seltzer. Do so you understand that? Now, I'll tell you one thing about doing the vodka version. I feel pretty good the next day when I can control the, the amount of um, vodka. And that's extremely important. It's very important to have a control. And, and, and self-control is not easy when you drink alcohol. It truly is not. Um, it's, it's easier with these cans. I mean, the only way I could break my self-control is to have more than six cans. Oh, I'll have a seventh, an eighth. It doesn't usually happen. But it's very easy for this, this booze here. Like I just showed you, I went over, I went to 42 milliliters and that's nothing but over five drinks, six drinks, you're, you, you've already added another can if you drink six. And that's, that's a, real, a real problem with drinking uh, vodka. I mean, these things aren't so bad because you can control these as well. If you, I see a lot of people who aren't uh, doing so great. They buy a handful of these and, a, and, a, and uh, they have a limited amount they can drink. That's one way of doing it if you want to uh, just stick to these things and portion them out. I'll buy five, for instance. Five of these equals more than six of these uh, at 40. Six is 240, five is 250. Um, I don't know. It's, that's one of the things that uh, I like to challenge myself with. Um, it's staying within the control and using these tools that, that are very easily uh, uh, accessible to anybody with just 10 bucks in their pocket, you can control it. But I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, there's been times where I, I uh, drank, I did my little experiment and I think almost all, almost every single time I drank more, six drinks of, of Six vodka drinks was more alcohol than six of my Smirnoffs. And man, it's self-control is not easy. It's really not easy. But if you really want to stick to the guns or stick to your plan, just try and pour it carefully and, and or like I said, pre-portion out 240 milliliters in a separate little jug somewhere and put your bottle away and just stop. Stop drinking it at, at your six drink limit whatever self-imposed, uh, um, what do you call it, baseline that you've established. And this way you, you can control your drinking. Um, otherwise, you know, you're gonna end up drinking way, way more than you set out to and you're gonna feel like pretty, pretty crappy the next day. So that's, that's how we do it. And I just gave you some tools on how you can do it, but you gotta do some math. Um, if, if a six pack of, 7% alcohol beers uh, you're fine with, then you gotta change your numbers around. Or if you only like, you know, half a bottle of wine at 13%, your, your equal number of uh, vodka drinks is gonna be different as well. So you gotta do a little math. Uh, polish up on your fractions and your cross multiplying and all this other crap, whatever it's called. I, I forget, but I'm surprised I still remember how to do these things, but that's how you do it. So. Are you gonna do some math or are you just gonna drink because it's easy and silly? Have a good week ahead.